Hey guys, what's going on? KN4 MKB Billy here, and today we're going to be talking about a little 3D printing for the Baofeng radio. So, I'm going to be focusing on the UV5R, however, I actually have the F8HP. Because all these radios are pretty much shaped the same, mostly, most parts should be able to be interchangeable. If you don't know about the Baofeng, which if you're watching this video, you obviously do, it's a very cheap uh, radio that's been popular for the past few years, and because of that, there's a lot of open source models for the radio. There's a lot of different 3D prints uh, that you can actually download for free. Everything that I'm going to be printing is going to be, uh, there's going to be a download link in, uh, below for the video. So if you guys are interested in checking any of these out or printing them yourself, feel free. Just check down in the description and you can get the link to those, pro uh, those projects below. I'm going to be printing these on my Ender Pro 3. It's a relatively cheap 3D printer, but it should get the job done. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and comment what other types of 3D prints that you've done for your Baofeng radio below, and I may check them out in the future. Anyways, let's go take a look at the files here and see what this thing's gonna look like, hopefully. All right, so this right here is what we're going to be printing. So this right here is gonna be an upgraded clip. Uh, it says in the description that it's much stronger than the, uh, the clip that comes with the radio, so we'll see about that. Uh, this right here is a tactical uh, Baofeng belt holder, so your belt will go through here and uh, the Baofeng just kind of comes into here. This right here is an upgraded volume knob, so we'll just take the one that we have off now and put that new one on there. This right here is a clip that's supposed to go between the Nagoya 775 antenna and the Baofeng to close that space. This right here is actually a desktop stand, which I think this right here is probably what I'm going to be using most. And this is just like a little sun visor. Uh, uh, clip for your car or anything really just to clip the radio onto so we'll see how that works as well so let's go ahead and move on to the 3d printer and this is going to take a while and uh, so I'll see you tomorrow hey this is me from the future the Nagoya spacer did not work out so instead I've added a volume knob cover onto the list of upgrades so I'll see you guys at the printer thing is going to be the uh, the clip and it does seem a lot more flexible than the other one or a lot more sturdy but we'll kind of see about that and we have the volume knob cover this is the new volume knob and I also like this design a lot more than the one that's actually on the bow thing we have the sun visor clip so the valve thing will actually go into uh, right here and we'll be able to use this to kind of attach it to things. And we have a desktop stand, which I think is probably going to be my favorite thing. So I'm pretty excited to see how this works. Oh, also the tactical belt clip. So the tactical belt clip, pretty simple. The belt goes through here and the valve thing will just kind of slip in and you'll give a little bit more space between your body and the radio so the antenna doesn't rub up against you as much. All right, so the easiest thing is probably going to be the desktop stand. And I have the extended battery in here, so I don't know if that's going to hold it. And actually, it works perfectly. It works perfectly with the extended battery. So now I'm going to try the, the default battery to see how it fits in there. And actually, I mean, it fits, but I do think the, uh, the extended battery actually worked a little better. So maybe that's what it was made for. <clears throat> So the next thing I actually want to take a look at is this new volume knob. <clears throat> so the actual volume knob here will actually just pop off pretty easily. You just have to pull on it. And this one, the way it printed, there's not really a defined line to insert it. Oh, there we go. Actually, there is. So there's the, the new volume knob. Uh, I printed this with rafts. I didn't need to. So the quality is a little bit screwed up. But I kind of like it. I think that's actually a nice little upgrade because it does have a little bit more grip. 
It's not as slick as the uh, the other one that we had here. So I might reprint this in a little better quality and, and actually see how that turned out. So the next thing I want to take a look at is the tactical belt clip. So the radio will actually go in just like this right here. And our belt will just go through the back. And there's our belt clip. So that's not bad. That's actually a, a pretty decent system. And that way, if we do screw an antenna on there, it won't move around as much. Or it won't slap up against your body as much because you have that spacing there. So yeah, I kind of like this. I can see myself using the belt clip. The next thing I want to take a look at is the, uh, the volume knob. So I'm just going to stick the actual volume knob that came with it back on. And uh, we're just going to put it on just like this. And it fits on just like that. Kind of goes up against the side. Now, this right here doesn't fit very well. Uh, it looks like it might be too loose. Now, I could maybe print it a little smaller. It could be that it just doesn't fit this exact model bow thing. Maybe for some reason the volume knobs made a little different. It looks like it's extremely close though. Uh, maybe if I support it or print it with a little infill so it's a little sturdier, maybe that might be a better thing. But uh, if you were to mount it on there somehow, I think that would be a really good thing. Because I do worry about putting my, my bow thing in bags and stuff if it's on and the volume clicking on and me transmitting. So that's kind of neat. Now, before we take a look at the upgraded clip, let's take a look at the sun visor. So, I would assume that the radio just kind of clips in just like this. Actually, that's kind of odd, but okay. So, basically, this right here is kind of used if you wanted to hang this up in your car somewhere. You could just clip the radio in and take these things right here and put them on your sun visor. Or pretty much anything that... Um, that these things will clip onto and it'll hold the radio there. So that's kind of a little versatile tool that you can use to mount your radio in different places. It might be useful in the car. You can actually mount it uh, backwards too. No, actually I lied. Don't try to mount it backwards. It doesn't work as well. So the last thing I want to take a look at is the upgraded clip. Because this was the thing that I was most interested in. And hopefully it's not too difficult to change these out here. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see. All right, so there's our new clip. Hope we got that on there, right? So there's the new clip. Durability-wise, ah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is actually an upgrade, but it is kind of neat. Uh, it is a perfect fit, so it does fit really well. Um, the hook here is a little better, but this one's a little bit more versatile because it doesn't have that versatile because it doesn't have the uh, the hook coming around. So, I don't know. It's kind of a neat upgrade. I think that's probably one of my favorites. So, I think I'll actually keep this on here, too. So I'll keep the 3D printed clip on here. And what I'm gonna do is also uh, reprint the knob, the volume knob, and keep that on here as well. Because I do like the uh, the upgraded volume knob. And the desktop stand's really handy. So overall, this has been uh, pretty successful. Uh, I think there's some stuff out of here that I'm definitely gonna use and I'm uh, pretty excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, feel free to check out any of these uh, files below. They're on things first. And if you printed anything else for your bow thing or any other radio that you found useful, 
be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'd really like to know. Uh, and I really appreciate all of you watching this, and I hope you have a good evening. 73 to you. Thank you.